Even so, the tongue is a little member, and it boasts great things. He says, see how great a forest a little fire kindles. So here's the danger of the tongue. It has a fearful power, a fearful power for destruction. He says, see how great a fire, a forest, a little fire kindles. It has a potency to bring such destruction to anything that stands in its way. That's your tongue. But notice that James doesn't compare the tongue with water. Why not? He doesn't compare the tongue with water. They both have similarities, don't they? Why? They both have a capacity to multiply. But one has, it doesn't take much for it to spread and cause destruction. If I was to take this glass or take this bottle and start filling this glass with water, It's not going to cause a flood, is it? No. Why? Because it's going to require tons upon tons upon tons of water. Listen. For that small glass to spread and multiply and cause total destruction. But I can take a match. And I can take one match, a spark from a match and I can burn thousands upon thousands upon thousands of acres thousands upon thousands upon thousands of plant life and wildlife with just one spark of a match what fire has a tendency or has a capacity to spread quickly. It consumes any, and I don't care what it may be, I don't care the structure of it, fire has the capacity, it is so powerful, it is so strong, it has the capacity to destroy any and everything that stands in its way. So who have you destroyed because they got in your way? Who have you torn down with your tongue because you felt as if they overstepped their boundaries. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that tongue today. That tongue that has the capacity, if not used properly, it can destroy a marriage. That tongue that has the capacity, if not used properly, can destroy a family. That tongue, if not used properly, can burn away at a person's soul. This tongue that we have is so powerful that one word or one comment can take your wounded soul and whatever confidence and self-worth you had is literally burned to ashes because someone used their tongue improperly towards you. Is it possible that the reason why it's difficult for you to see your self-worth or how valuable you are is because at some point in your life someone took their tongue and began to use it as a weapon of destruction? Mm -hmm. One word or one comment caused a down spiral of destructive events in your life. He says that's your tongue. So James makes a point. But he makes his point in verse 6. He says, and the tongue is a fire. <laughs> he says, the tongue is a world of iniquity. The tongue is so set among our members that it defiles the whole body and sets on fire the course of nature and it is set on fire by hell. 
now we get ready to get very deep into this thing. Because I'm going to camp out right there for a little bit. I'm going to camp out in verse 6 for a while. So follow. I need to follow. He says that the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. We're going to talk about your tongue today, okay? Iniquity in the Greek means, listen, evil or wrongdoing. So the tongue is so dangerous that God says the small member that resides in your mouth is a world of evil. In other words, the tongue, regardless of how small it may be, has a world of its own. Psalm 52 2 says, your tongue, listen, devises destruction like a sharp razor working deceitfully. That's your tongue. Your tongue in the context now, in this scripture, goes far beyond just words. Far beyond just words. Let me explain. In the days of King David, he's addressing in Psalm 52 2 his enemies who were people that literally used language as a weapon. Oh, here we go. Because they believed that the gods could empower their words to bring forth devastation to whoever was on the receiving end of it. So your words have power, but your tongue holds the capacity of life and death. This is why Proverbs 18, 21 says, life and death is in the power of where? In the tongue. And those that love it shall eat the fruit of it. So the tongue holds within itself the power to declare life and death. Why do you think, or how do you think God has put the heaven and the earth into existence? Through the power that resided in his tongue. So when he made man, he made man in the image of himself with the power in the tongue. That's why he said the tongue is a world of iniquity. Say it, say it. Are you getting it now? 